I'm working harder than ever on, on my uh, studio work. You know, I have more shows than I can comfortably deal with right now. In 2002, the Museum of Folk Arts and Crafts approached me about showing the first Warped Toy series. This war had a somewhat different quality to it. All the stuff of science fiction seemed to be in the air, and since I was working with Glass at the time anyway, I decided to do an entirely new series which included Glass and its reference to science. What effect does art have on anybody? You never know. Uh, Hopefully it provokes some kind of thought and questioning because these are, you know, threatening but they're really absurd, bumbling little critters. up during war times, he on one side and me on the other, but he is so German looking. And I sometimes look at him in bed and think, good grief, <laughs> I'm consorting with the enemy. The first couple of times I went out with him was to museums, and I've never had such a kind of meshing in terms of tempo and what interested us and what our responses were to the work. I mean, our sensibility is extraordinarily similar. I was very attracted to the kind of work she did, the combinations of this uh, metal and, and uh, woman, you know, and metal and glass. They evoke a person uh, in an abstract way, and the constraints against the metal uh, the flesh-like quality of the glass were exploited to that end. I call them flasks of fiction. 